Here's my take on the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight. Ever since the fight, I've seen countless number of videos promoting the idea that this was a fixed fight and that Mike Tyson got paid to let Jake Paul win this fight. I think this is an utter nonsense. And the reason for that is because if, if Mike Tyson needed money, all he had to do was license his name, Mike Tyson. And companies will be throwing hundreds of millions of dollars at him. So money is impossible for it to be the reason why this happened. However, I do have a thought that uh, I feel strongly about. I think what may have happened, one of two things. Either Mike Tyson was having a major panic attack in the ring and that took him out of his game completely. And if uh, you never had a, a panic attack, it's one of the worst feelings in the world and you just cannot focus. You cannot really do anything. You have this overwhelming feel of doom that something really bad is happening to you and that you're about to die. And there's nothing in this world that can take you out of it, really. And uh, if you, it, 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 I'm sure a lot of you notice out there how he was obsessively biting on his glove. And that's an obsessive compulsive behavior indicative of something is going on. And he was constantly going for it and constantly biting on his glove because something was going on in his head. So this is one theory that I think was the reason why we didn't see the Tyson that we all know he's capable of being, even at 58. The other one I think is that maybe he got burned so much from stress and anticipation, and this is something that happens, and I definitely see some of my fighters that go through this, the anticipation of the fight, the walk into the fight, right? He's 58 years old. I'm sure that there's a lot of mental and emotional things that he's dealing with that he didn't deal with when he was in his 20s, 30s, or 40s. As we all know, as we age, it becomes more difficult to keep a grip on things. So I think maybe he completely was super hyped and, and too stressed out and too excited. He burned through his entire storage of oxygen and adrenaline. And, and by the time he was in there, he just had nothing left. And those of you that boxed and trained really hard and you know spend a lot of time in the gym, you know that sometimes you go through that, especially at you know certain stages of your life. So stop insulting the man. His performance was horrible. We all agree on that, but he did not get paid for this. Please stop promoting this shit. I appreciate that, and I'm sure a lot of people around the world appreciate that too.